Hello, my name is Ali Khan Hussaini and I'm an associate professor at Harvard Medical School. My um, areas of interest are in biomaterials and tissue engineering. I'm here at the American Chemical Society meeting where I received the Kavli lectureship for emerging leader in, in chemistry. And I was very honored, of course. So what we're interested in is to try to make materials for medical applications, and particularly this area of regenerative medicine. What uh, this area is trying to do is address the major challenge of organ shortage where we are trying to make tissues or pieces of material that can uh, not only be able to be used in different medical implants but also be able to regenerate the lost function of the tissue. For this area we're very much interested in making materials that can interact with cells in a desired way to be able to tell the cell what it should do and in helping the cells to make tissues. So what my lab is particularly interested in is to try to make these materials in the way that can um, respond to the cell's environment and then tell the cell uh, specifically how it should behave. So one example of a material that we've developed, which is, um, I think, very interesting, is a material that is based on elastin. Elastin is a protein in the body that provides the mechanical elasticity and resilience to our tissues. So we can take this material and make, um, take, take the protein and make materials out of it that are very stretchy and allows us to uh, make um, types of materials that mimic the natural tissues. So in one example of this, we actually made a stretch glue that we can use for surgical applications to be able to 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 close um, incisions and um, wounds that uh, that occur and these um, these materials allows the body to uh, to heal to grow and be able to um, heal the wounds at the same time they have the right kind of mechanics degradability and biocompatibility to allow uh, the, the surgeon to, to do the incision and be able to potentially even eliminate sutures. So these are one example, but there's lots of other things that we do in the lab which we think that down the road will have huge implications in medicine.